Hello, everybody. I would like to welcome to webinar Building an Empire, session number four. Welcome, everybody, and special welcome to Nadezhda Ignatenko, who is currently somewhere in Russia. I don't even know where she is right now. Nadezhda, please unmute your microphone and you could say a couple of words just to say hello. And where are you right now? Hello, everybody. I cannot hear you. Right now. I'm sorry, say it again. Now better better reception, so please repeat again slowly. We have a morning. Так, where, where are you right now? In Siberia, where? In Siberia, morning. January 12, uh, 26. No, I know the date. Where are you located right now? Где ты находишься сейчас? Я говорю, in Siberia, in Красноярск. Oh, that's it, I got it, in Красноярск, Siberia. Okay, very good. We're pleased to have you with us. Let's go, thank you. Okay, can you believe that today is January 25th and it's a last Monday of January 2021, and we just recently started our session three weeks ago. And now we are going to continue to read again. Isaac, please confirm if you could hear me. I can no doubt that you could hear me and you could see my screen, right? Yes. Excellent. So this is a cover of the book, Building an Empire. So let's do it from a previous chapter. I just start from, would like to start from the system component. I just read a couple of sentences, system components. Here is what my system looks like. It's not my system, it's a Brian Garther system. It looks like that built my team to more than 300,000 people, 300,000 people. So it's, very, very valuable. Isaac, please go ahead. Slowly, but surely. Thank you. Good evening, good evening everybody. And good morning to whomever has a morning there. Uh, the system, get excited. Make a list. Book a PBR within first three to five days. Book a PCC, PZC, within the first three to five days. Weekly business briefings, training, events and calls, corporate convention, plus conference calls, sit downs, three-way calls, long distance packages, webinars. Let's break this down piece by piece. Get excited. Most people say, they are excited about starting their new network marketing business, but you would never know that by talking to them. They don't really come across as passionately fired up about it or about life. The reason this will ensure their failure is because we are in people attraction business. If you're not excited, why would anybody else want to do what you are doing? So, you have to work on your music. This is how you sound when you are communicating with people. Are people attracted to your tone, to your ambition and outlook? Or do people sense that you are stuck in a spot that they would rather not join you in being stuck themselves? It's not about take it till you uh, fake it till you make it. You don't need to fake anything. Just be genuinely excited about your product, service, your opportunity, and your future success. Act and feel presently how you yourself live in the future. This will be attractive to others. People want to follow someone who knows where they're going. Just the how-tos 
that matter. This is how you do the house, how to's that makes the difference. Your attitude will determine your paycheck. Get a positive attitude and be enthusiastic about everything you do. Make your list. So whom do you plan to contact and invite to review your opportunity or product service? Without a list of people to call, you have no business. Our companies pay us amazing commissions for our endorsements to the people who trust our endorsements. Just one second, Isaac. Sorry for interruption, but this is a crucial moment for people and special for new people who just joined Forever Business and they hesitate to create a list of names. Without list of names, there is no any option to do business. And different statistics provide different numbers. One statistic I learned and read that adult who just finished high school knows at least 100 people. And person who are 25 years plus knows personally, personally, at least 200 people. So again, it's really crucial to emphasize and to help people to understand that this is a mandatory in only one and one case if they want to do forever business. Please go ahead. Thank you. That is why network marketing direct selling works better than any other sales platform in the world. If you truly believe in what you are marketing, you will want to share it with everyone you know and care about. So write down the names of everyone you have ever met in your life. Seriously, the average list for someone over 25 years old should be in excess of 200 people. But let's start with 50 and add to it in the days to come. Next, you want to grade your list. Determine which people you want to lead with the product service and which you want to lead with the business opportunity. This list is your gold mine. It will only give you gold if you mine it. Book your PBR. A PBR is a private business reception. This is a living room presentation at your home. PBRs are proven to be the most effective ways to launch your business. Do not delay. This should be done in your first three to five days in the business. In a previous chapter, we discussed why you want to launch your business fast by presenting to a group of people all at once. This is how you will do it. Your goal is to invite everyone you know in your uh, hometown over to your home for a short 40 minutes overview. Just like we have baby showers or Super Bowl parties, this will be similar. It is an informal environment where people can feel comfortable and it's easy to invite to. To reiterate, when you have a group of prospects all seeing the presentation at once, either done live by your sponsor or by playing a video, it makes for incredible synergy and excitement. Once someone catches the vision and shows sign of interest, it often turns into a domino effect and becomes contagious. Next thing you know, people are filing out their applications. The key to a success of PBR are be enthusiastic. They're buying, they're buying into you as much as they are as they are the company or product service. At the beginning, the host should sh uh, share why you jumped. The host should share why they looked at business uh, back please they oh, they looked at i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry uh yeah scroll at this business in the first place lack of money 
lack of time, etc. Do this in a way so it uh, re resonates with your audience and connects your it connects and connects your why with theirs. Hit them emotionally. Keep the presentation brief. If you get long-winded, you will lose people. Facts tell, stories sell. Be sure to share products and opportunity testimonials. Paint the vision of the magnitude of the business you and the people in the room can build together and how it will in, in enable each person's success to meet the needs of their own why. They need to feel like they will be part of something bigger than themselves and that they will have pl plenty of support, support in the process. At the end, don't invite questions. You will get what you ask for. Ask for questions, you'll get questions. Instead, assume the sale by having the posture, the posture of course they will sign up. If anyone has questions, answer them pri uh, privately off to the side so as not to distract others from filing out their applications. Just get people uh, filling, filling out applications to join. Don't be weak or timid about it, but don't be pushy either. Have a relaxed intensi inten intensity. Have applications and pens ready. If using a laptop or tablet, have it ready too. Have it ready to go. For those you recruit, book their PBR in their homes for the upcoming week before they leave. Book your PCC PCC. A PCC is a private conference call. This is like a telephone PBR or business presentation. It is a way to present your business to multiple prospects at one time in 15 minutes right over the phone. Nowadays, technology from companies like Zoom has made it so we so we could we can do a video conference instead of a phone conference. This way, we can show visuals like a PowerPoint, and people can see the the speaker and the other attendees, making it more like an actual meeting. People really love the Zooms. As of the revision of this, of, of this, the book, I now do more PCCs than I do PCCs. It goes to show that the concept remind, remains the same, but how we do the presentation can evolve due to new technology. Don't delay on this one either. This, this should also be done in your first three to five days in the business. And best yet, you can have a top producer export your prospects for you. Of course, you want to do a living room meeting, PBR, for the people in your down, uh, hometown. But for everyone else who cannot attend in person at your home, you set a date and time and invite them to, li to listen in over a phone line. PCC, PCCs are designed for each distributor to do separately for their prospects only. We do not recommend several distributors combining onto one call. If this is done, each will usually get only a few guests on and get small results. By doing a PCC, PCC for every newly recruited person independently, that new person will have the chance to invite all of their friends, family, and colleagues into one informal and intimate setting. And everyone will feel comfortable and relaxed. But they will get to hear a powerhouse personalized presentation. Here's how you do it. The date and time of the call is decided upon usually with about with about a one or two day notice. The upline will provide the conference call number for everyone to dial in on. You can find companies online that offer free conference call lines. 
always invite three times the amount of people that you expect to actually show up on the call. Invite and confirm 30 to get 10 on. The purpose of these calls is to create excitement and to share your business opportunity with many people as quickly as possible. So the PCC, PCC should be treated with major urgency and importance. Hold on for a second, excuse me, please, Isaac. Always invite more people that you would like to have number. For example, 30 to get 10 like this one, right? 30 to get 10 on. So this is statistic proven by life many, many, many times, me personally. If you want one people to be in your house or in your home, invite three people, not just invite, get three people to say yes, then you will have a chance to get at least one. This is proven many, many, many times, many, many times, just once in my almost 17 years, it was number better than 30% ratio. It's really valuable for us to explain our prospect or not prospect, uh, our new distributor or forever business owner that they should invite. If they want to have two people at home, they should invite six. They want to have 10, three people, they should invite nine eight, or 10 at least. Sorry for interruption, please go ahead, Isaac. No problem. To invite people to the call. Hey, Bill, it's Isaac. Look, I don't know if you knew this, but I needed, to, I needed a change. So I have been investigating businesses that might excite me. I ran across a business expert who has turned me onto something pretty big. Maybe the biggest thing I have ever seen from a profit share point and the ability to do so while having some quality time freedom. The person I met is going to talk about this on a private conference call tomorrow night for you to listen in with me. You have got to hear what, what, what's going on. So get on this call for 15 minutes, grab a pen and write down this time and phone number. Be sure to call in a minute early. See you on there to host the call. Call in three minutes early and personally welcome your friends you've invited. Ask for their names as they call in. Write them down so you know who to follow up with personally after the PCC, PCC ends. Tell them you're glad they could join in and that the call will start at the designated time, sharp. When the time comes, introduce the speaker. Everyone, I'm thank me after, I promise you. I want to introduce you to Alex Tunitsky, who is leading the national expansion of this powerhouse company, who knows all the facts and knows how to make massive money in this arena and loves to help people. Mr. Alex Tunitsky, take it away. The speaker will go 15 minutes and then direct everyone back to the host to get signed up. The host should take the call from those who call them, but if the phone does not ring, start making follow-up calls that same night to close them while they are hot. If they still have questions, then invite a three-way call with the expert pri privately to get the answers and get them closed. Note, if you have no upline sp speaker to do your PCC, PZC, do everything the same way, but instead say, we are so lucky we're going to patch in the in in and listen to a conference call with a top executive that's getting really ready to start hold on for one second then three way then three way the line into a recorded overview number from your upline after the recording is done disconnect then start making follow-up calls to see who is interested by asking 
What did you like best about what you hear? If they still have questions, then three-way them into the expert privately to get the answers and get them closed. Congratulations. You now know the, sec the secret to explo exploding your business. Some people don't do PCC, PCC, and that's why the income is not as high. The next step is duplicate. Get every, get every new recruit on your growing team to do this PBR and PCC, PCC in their first three to five days too. Isaac, hold on for a second. Thank you very much for your reading. Take a break. For you, it's more than enough. Thank you very much. And I ask, I would like to ask Helen Osipov to continue, please. Helen, please unmute your microphone. Good evening. And I continue. Your business is officially launched. These next steps are to be regular ongoing activities. Attend your weekly business briefing. Most successful network marketing companies understand the importance of human interaction and the need for people to come together. A business briefing is where a leader will rent a room at a local hotel and conduct a PowerPoint presentation about the opportunity for any guest that the exciting team can invite to come. This is such a powerful way to recruit on an ongoing basis after you have launched your business with your PBR and PCC and PCC. This business is all about contacting and inviting. You need an event to invite people to where a third party expert will with credibility can present the information to your prospects for you. And again, like the PBR, the synergy and excitement comes from the numbers of others in the room. One of the common questions I'm asked is why reps need to come out to a business briefing every week to see the same presentation, often the same speakers with the same jokes over and over again. Why attend? especially if they are have no guests to bring with them to see the overview. I don't like meetings, is often heard. Is attending every week that important to someone's success in the business? Yes, here is why. First, oftentimes people get rec recruited via, via a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a flip chart, website, conference call, or video. This is great that an individual at any place, anytime can recruit people, but you do not ever want to leave that new recruit with their view of the company being limited to just you or a simple tool they reviewed. That completely scales down the much larger picture and vision of the company. Your company is a people business, a movement, can you imagine if Martin Luther King Jr. did not have a large crowd to speak to with his powerful and dynamic message, but rather sat with one person at a time with a video? I have a dream would never have been heard and the echoes of those profound words would not have shaken the world. Second, this is why you need to attend the assembly the events where the team comes together. Your prospects and new recruits need to be there too. This paints the bigger picture where they not only catch the vision of the company's mission, but they also realize while at the meeting that they are a part of a something bigger than themselves. This is powerful and important. People are more, more moved to act when they feel important than that their efforts are for a greater cause. Third, sometimes life happens and you can easily get distracted from your network market marketing business. Maybe your business has a lull or maybe your moral is down and you need a lift. So you come to the weekly meeting to get around the positive people who are having tons of success and excited about their life and you too will recatch the vision. 
your fire will be fueled, which we all need on a regular basis to keep charging ahead. Rejection and disappointment is a part of business, but in this business, we can wither those storms more easily because we can get around and feed off those who are having up days and big success. Sometimes you need the meeting and other times you are, you are doing great. The others at the meeting need you. Think of team as an acronym for together everyone achieves more. Fourth, you will be able to introduce your prospects to other they can relate to from a similar background, for example. Quite often, that could be the catalysis that convince someone that, uh, that they too can do this business. There is no substitute for a powerful life event. Fifth, how will you ever learn how to do a presentation yourself? The best way is by sitting in front of it about 50 times. This will resell you and increase your belief and confidence. It will help you to get the lingo and language down. And soon you will be able to properly share the stories in a compelling way that will help your, you sell and recruit like the masters who make million dollar incomes. It really is amazing that some people claim that they are too busy, too tired, or to whatever to be at the meeting for one hour once a week. With travel time, let's call it two, two hours. Over the course of a year, that's barely over 100 hours. Many people work that much in two weeks at their job, an acronym for just over broke, work entirely building someone else's dream and lifestyle and never even get the chance to get the massive six-figure income and time freedom. Yet they find excuses why they can't invest a few hours each week for just a few years in order to create a huge residual income and change their life. Amazing, isn't it? Six, finally, briefings give you a place to bring prospects, prospects to recruit new people on board on an ongoing basis. The great thing is, if you bring your guests out, they will see the big picture and at the same time recognize that they can, can come back for all the above reasons. They will also use the, this venue to grow their team and business. This is called duplication. This is the system. This is called leverage. Poor people get leveraged. Rich people use leverage. You and your team get to use these weekly meetings to leverage other people's testimonials, presentation skills, inspiration, and collect uh, collective synergy to explode your business. And best yet, these weekly meetings are being held or can be in nearly every marketplace across the map. So as your team grows away from you, they will have the same support system available to them. And as they are building in their markets, you are still at your local meeting, but making money in your pocket from hundreds of meetings going on every week. The event is motivating them without you even being present. So now you know why you and your team want to plug into business briefings, right? So how many briefings will you attend this year? If you said 52, that would be correct. And how many people do you want to recruit and plug into these events? Thousands, I hope. Start going to your local briefings and get fanatical about it. Don't let your friends, family, or negative dream stealers talk you out of going. They will try, but will you let them? The rain or cold may come, but you will go anyway. Your favorite sports team will play on the same night, but you will realize this is your game day and you will be dressed 
and on the field plane for your championship ring. This is one of your most important core commitments. Get committed and get wealthy. Now, with Zooms and webinars coming so widely used, you may be tempted to eliminate the weekly briefings. I strongly discourage it, this. That would be like your pastor deciding to just do Sunday webinars and no longer having services at church. As the Bible taught and Jim Rohn reemphasized, never neglect the assembly. Getting together with your local team on a weekly basis is part of the glue to hold the team together. And it makes the business more social in this world where cocooning, cocooning is awakening people's true relationship. Being on webinars just isn't as powerful and fun as being at physical events together in community and grabbing a bite to eat and fellowship afterwards. Well, hold on for a second. First of all, thank you for reading. Mm -hmm. And I would like you take a break, please. And I would like to ask Iris Christopher, please continue, Iris. Unmute your microphone, please. All right. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Alex. Attend training events. Training is the key to your success. That is why you are reading this book. You may have heard the phrase, knowledge is power. This is not fully accurate. I believe that applied knowledge is power. <laughs> what good is knowing something but not doing anything about it? You know how great your product service is. You know how your opportunity can change people's lives. But that is not enough. The key is learning how to transfer your belief to others. This is just one of the concepts that require training. <clears throat> Excuse me. Practice makes perfect, right? Maybe not. What if you keep practicing doing something the wrong way? Will you succeed? Not likely. You will just get better at failing. The key is getting training on the right way to do it first, then practice, and then see what you can tighten up and improve. I call it plan, do, review. Your company provides training classes taught by, taught by those who are great at the business. Their goal is to empower you by showing you what works as well as what doesn't work. This way you can cut your learning curve down drastically. Plan. Get trained and learn the techniques and strategies that work. Do. Go out in the field and implement what you've learned. Do the activity. Review. Come back to the classroom to sharpen your axe and see if there are areas you can improve. This is a cycle. We are never done learning. Either we are growing or we are dying. Getting ripe or getting rotten. I made a vow to myself to never stop learning and getting better. What I have found is the most people fail in their network marketing business because they are not coachable. They never go to training class or maybe they attend one and that's it. They feel they know all they need to succeed. This is such a shame. If this business were that simple, everyone would be earning a million a year. Everyone can, but most, sorry, but most don't because they are not willing to be taught. They are not willing to accept that they need repetition. You cannot go to the gym one time and expect muscles. You cannot go to medical school for one day and become a doctor. You cannot take one swing lesson and hit a golf ball like Tiger Woods. I have earned eight figures in my network marketing business and I still attend basic training classes to keep my axe sharp. It helps me to shake off all the new ideas that don't work which came my way between trainings. This business is about fundamentals. Keep getting trained. Weekly training conference calls. Most team in the industry has a team leader who conducts training by phone or online once or twice per week. 
This is extremely important and powerful. I have listened to two calls a week for 15 years as of writing this book. I credit so much on my personal growth and my income growth to these calls. My upline did a great job with these calls, but he also got great guest speakers on to spice it up and to give fresh perspective on usual topics. What also inspired me to no end was when rising stars in the team were asked to jump on and share their testimonials. When I heard some of my peers being recognized on a national call, I said, wow, if they can do it, so can I. It motivated the heck out of me. I wanted to go out and create some success so I would be asked to share my story. Find out when your team's weekly calls are and get on them all. This is crucial. You have to get good at calling your downline and promoting for them to get on these calls too. What good is it to be recruiting people in your business if they are not inspired? I mean, excuse me. Sorry, trained and producing. Often your downline will not listen to you because they don't feel they can learn from someone who is not yet successful themselves. Or even if you are successful in the business, they can only hear from you so many times before they become deaf to your voice. A prophet is never welcome in his hometown. They need to hear from fresh voices. And that is the beauty of being system dependent. You don't want their success to always hinge on you. As long as the conference calls and classrooms are there, your team will keep in getting inspired and trained. Attend your corporate convention. This is where everyone in the company comes together, usually once a year. These are often exciting, belief building and emotional. Conventions serve multiple purposes. Corporate rollouts and announcements are made. Learning from top earners in all in one weekend on one stage. Getting together with your team from around the country and building relationships. Giving you a benchmark or finish line to attach business goals to. Recognition to all who achieve certain levels of success. Time of reflection for yourself about your goals and progress. Fun getaway, change of scenery. The system is a proven formula. Do not try to reinvent the wheel. The wheel works just fine. The top earners in your business are using it very well. If you want the results and lifestyle they got, just copy what they did to get there. The following graphic is a great visual to always remember. Do not stray from the system or get off track. The track is proven way to success. It is the system of your upline is using and getting lasting results. Your upline made it a top earner way above you is likely sticking to the basics and keeping things simple. The expert do not engage in the idea of the week. They stay focused and master the mundane. It works. It will keep working. They are on the track every day and all you have to do is stay on the same track with them. System, success, and failure. But often we see networkers think they found a better way. They're going to do it better, faster, and show their company how brilliant they are. Here's what I always told my team. I am on this track right here. This is the proven path. If you decide to veer off the right or left to pursue some shiny object or new approach, I will be right here on the track. I'm not going to follow you out to the side. We will still be here making money hand over fist and we'll welcome you back when you're ready to plug back in. Look, we are all entrepreneurs and we're a creative bunch. That's what makes us entrepreneurs. We don't like to work for anyone else or be told what to do. I had this creativity dilemma myself when I first got into network marketing. 
I wanted to apply things I learned in my real estate career to this model. My upline wisely said to me, Brian, I know you are a brilliant marketer and you have some great ideas. Some might actually be helpful, but this business is all about a system that will persist and duplicate before and after you. Let me just check. You do want to build a business that will grow even, even when you no longer are building it, right? Okay, so what you must do is trust the system you brought into and just use your creativity to get more people to plug into it instead of changing it. Hold on for a second, please, Iris. I just would like to say a couple of words about this story <laughs> he shared with us, Brian shared it with us. I have many, many examples in my team when people who joined just, let's say yesterday or a week ago, they wanna do something on their own because we have only adults here Everybody could join forever, at least 18 years plus. And plus, plus, plus sometimes. So these people has a lot of different kind of experience. They have a family, they have a kids. So they think that they can do it on their own. And they don't want to follow the system. It happened many, many times, many, many times. If they follow the system, it will be much, much easier. It will be straight to the goal. Let's say they want to start, not start, they want to be a manager, but because they want to be smarter, they think they have a better way to accomplish this goal. They sooner or later, in the most cases, they fail. So it's really valuable for us to see our new potential diamond manager. Okay, let's make it, let me help you to get at least your goal, like about 2,500, 3,500 on a monthly basis. Then do your business on your own. But let me help you to accomplish this goal first. Maybe it will be helpful. Thank you, Aris. Please go ahead. This was huge for me to hear and grasp. So I took my excitement and used it to promote the proven system rather than wasting my time trying to invent a new one. And because I did this, I got off to an insanely successful start and my business has flourished ever since for 15 plus years. This, my friend, is the system, the backbone of it. Everyone launches their business by getting excited, making their list, hosting a PBR in a PCC in a PZC. Then once those steps are complete, the rhythm of the system kicks in. The weekly briefings, trainings, and annual conventions are ongoing machine that you just keep plugging yourself and your team into. But there are other activities that will feed you, that will feed into this system as well. Tools and events. Building your network will be driven by two things, tools and events, and your ability to promote and teach others to promote them. The, prima, the premise behind why tools and events are everything is that you are always to use third party when recruiting or selling. In other words, always take the focus off of yourself. The goal, the goal is to aim the focus of your prospect into a third party tool or person. Anything, anyone other than the first party, which is you. I decided that nobody was gonna get more tools into people's hand than me and my team. So I stock up on tools, make sure my team was buying them at cost and cranking them out daily. I had cases of tools at my home, in my car and had them available at all events. I wasn't trying to make money by selling tools. I was trying to get them into the market in big quantities. This is the big reason why my team recruited thousands of people a month. Why is third party a must? 
There are a few reasons. First, when you are new, you cannot possibly be affected by sharing the presentation properly. And your contact should not and will not listen to your opinion about your opportunity because they know you are new and not an expert. So what the system calls for is for you to introduce your prospect to your upline expert, whom you edify first. To edify means you speak very highly about this person in glowing terms, thereby giving that expert the credibility necessary for him or her to influence the prospect for you. Sometimes it may be a tool, such a video or webinar, which you will edify and promote. This works in the same manner. Your contacts are more apt to listen and be moved by a video that you endorse more so than you pretending to be the expert. Another reason to always use third party is because it duplicates. Don't do what works, do what duplicates. You may feel like you're capable and competent and willing to go do the presentation yourself. Great, but don't. It is awesome that you are a confident person and we will help you exploit your confidence to make you a fortune, trust me. You can never make it about you and your skills and ability. This is because you may be good that you recruit dozens of people all by yourself. But the reality is that those recruits will not be as talented or confident as you. And they will try to do to others. Next page, please. What you just did to recruit to them and they will fail. Your brilliance sets your team up for failure and you don't even realize it. Only do what a dud can do to recruit a stud. In other words, an average 24 year old person cannot use that method to recruit a 50 year old business owner, then don't do it. The 24 year old will not be affected with the high caliber prospect because that prospect will not see a reason to listen to that inexperienced kid. Well, watch this. If the kid edifies a video and gets the business owner to see a powerful corporate produced presentation, he's got a real shot at recruiting him. The focus must be taken off the recruiter and placed onto a third party tool or person. Another option the kid could have chosen is to edify his upline and a physical presentation could have been made via face-to-face -face meeting or on a conference call. The point here is that when every person in your downline team is empowered to be able to recruit above their grade, you have the recipe for duplication and exponential growth. It has to work and has to be able to be repeated by everyone on your team. Tools and events are scalable. Remember, your goal is to build a massive team to help you get an even more massive customer base. So your strategy must be able to grow beyond your reach. It must be able to duplicate away from you. The magic growth happens when you get a large number of people doing a few simple things consistently over an extended period of time. Not only can everyone on your team send out a video, but there is no limit to how many videos can be purchased and handed out. It is cheap and easy to do. Anyone can direct prospect to a website presentation. Events like business briefings are also scalable. You can get the whole team inviting people out to this hotel presentation, and you can always add chairs to the room or get a bigger venue. Conference calls can work for a small audience of 10 and just as well for a thousand. Networkers tip, whoever moves the most tool into a marketplace will make the most money. What are the tools and events that funnel to the seven step system I described above? Iris, thank you very much. Take a break, we're done for today. We read and hopefully study and we will implement in our forever business whatever 
Brian is advised to us. And also I would like to remind everybody that I created recently YouTube channel and we have all webinars recorded, recorded on YouTube channel. So I'm asking everybody sign up on the YouTube channel. You have, I put it on the Facebook and you got it on the mail. There are steps how to sign up, very simple procedure. Watch it, share with your team and put your comments and click like. I'm asking you for help and share with your team. The key to your success is networkers tip. Whoever moves the most tools into marketplace will make the most money. So I wish you success and I would like to thank you again, thank you again to Isaac, Helen and Iris for reading. I did not see any hands, so we don't have any questions. I'll see you next month, it will be February. Be safe and healthy. Thank you everybody, bye.